Imagine going from this to this and thinking you've improved. Ben 10 Omniverse is a show that really expanded the Ben 10 landscape to new heights, not only being the most world-building show with the most characters and episodes, but also simply being the most ambitious and grand scoped. We saw this in cases like, for example, Alien X, whose entire premise was greatly expanded by Omniverse and amplified into a complete behemoth from really a pretty weak character in the previous shows. While Omniverse is pretty famous for these plot elements and lore expansion, it is without saying that perhaps the biggest thing that immediately stands out in this show is the Art Style reboot. <laughs> Ladies and Jellyfish, Shalom, and welcome back to Ask Air. As today I'll be going through all of Ben 10's aliens, as well as a bunch of the main cast, comparing the original design to the Omniverse iterations, and in some cases comparing all three versions together, including Classic, UAF, and OV. Let's just jump right in. Alrighty, starting off, we got Heat Blast. Seems like most people like the Alternate Alien Force version the most, and I have to disagree. I like the classic version. The textured pattern on his body, as well as the brighter, saturated colors, are just so nostalgic to me and look the best in my opinion. Now, Universe he has a little more bulky, and Ultimate Alien Force he's a little darker, so I guess more people like that grittier look, but I have to go with the classic myself. As far as Wild Mutt goes, it seems more people like the classic version, but I have to go with the Omniverse version personally. The more defined underbite, the green collar, and the brighter color scheme are just a little more appealing to me personally. I love the original, and I'm glad they kept a lot of the details in Omniverse, but it just looks a little more refined. As far as forearms goes, I'm with most people in saying that the classic version is the best. Ultimate Alien looked horrendous, especially with the ponytail, and while I like the Omniverse version, the mustache looks just a bit strange to me. The original is really cool, with the white and black shirt, and the yellow eyes. Accelerate looks pretty similar in both versions, but the classic version is just more classic and looks a lot better in my opinion. Point goes to the old. Grey Matter was very close in the voting, but I have to go with the Omniverse version. It's just a little nicer to look at, and the face shape looks better in my opinion. I also like the green and black jumpsuit more. While Ripjaws isn't my favorite alien, his design is pretty cool in both versions. While I love the classic version, Omniverse just expanded a lot more and gave him a lot more to look at, so I'm with most people in saying that Omniverse is better. I'm surprised Stink Flight got this many votes for the Omniverse version. I think it looks terrible. The classic version looks amazing, with the black face, the white and black body, and the cool black hands. Omniverse just loves green way too much, and the face looks horrendous with the two weird teeth like he's Patrick Starr or something. Also, I don't know why, but in the classic version, it just looks like his eyeball is the Omnitrix, which is hilarious to me. Diamond head, diamond head, diamond head. I'm really surprised that the classic version only got one vote, compared to Ultimate Alien and Omniverse, which got six and seven. I love all the designs, personally, I think they're all incredible, but you gotta give it to the classic version for being the black and white cool original design. Although I do like the purple look of Ultimate Alien, and the more turquoise colors of Omniverse. Upgrade looks pretty similar in both versions, and the voting is actually equal on this one. I love both versions, and I think they both look pretty cool, sort of like they're inverted, but I think the original just looks a little cooler with the white body and the green and black lines compared to the inverted look of Omniverse. I also don't like how the Omnitrix is in his face. For Cannonbolt, I'm with the general consensus that the UAF version looked the best. In Classic, the colors are a bit muted, the Omnitrix is on his forehead, and the eyes are yellow. And in Omniverse, his eyes are just a bit too squinty for him to look like an alien. UAF, while not looking incredible or anything, fits the Cannonbolt mold pretty well. Upchuck actually has four versions because in Omniverse he got the Perk and the Merc design, but I chose the one that looks similar to all three designs. It seems that Omniverse won this battle, and I have to agree. I don't like the UAF version, and I think the original is a bit too lazy, so I'll just give it to Omniverse. It looks the most upchuck to me. Ben Wolfer Blitzwolfer, heavily improved in Omniverse. I'm with the voting on this one. Same goes to Snero, or Ben Mummy. In the classic series, he just looked like a classic mummy. Nothing really made him look different, whereas in Omniverse, he gets the green lines, the updated face shape, and the more interesting color dynamics. Ben Victor or Frankenstrike also improved a bit, although I will say I like the black legs a bit more, which are present in the classic series. However, However, the more deformed look and scars in the body of the Omniverse version just fit a little better in my opinion. This close tie is beaten out with Omniverse. Another close vote is Ditto, who I will say it was pretty hard to pick for myself. In the classic series, he looks a bit like an alien, a bit taller but still scrawny with the black and white design and the more serious face. In Omniverse, he gets a more cartoony look, looking shorter, fatter, and more childish. There's a reason why he made Looney Tunes references, because he looks sort of like a Looney Tunes character. While I do love both designs, I think this one really just boils down to which one you like more, but there's a series 
serious look or the childish look, but I'll just give it to Omniverse since Ditto was a bit more fleshed out in Omniverse anyway. I Guy was pretty similar in both shows, but I'll just give it to the classic series because of the black and white pants, and since they came up with the design anyway. Waybig has had a lot of changes over the years, and the only one I've really liked is UAF. There's a reason it got over 50% of the votes here, because it looks the cleanest and the coolest. In the classic series, he suffered from the yellow eye syndrome, and had those annoying plates on his shoulders, as well as a big iron giant sort of vibe. In Omniverse, he looks a bit too mechanical, looking sort of like a robot, rather than a being. And the two things in his cheeks are just an unnecessary detail in my eyes. When goes to the UAF version, which looks the coolest, the slickest, and the way baddest. Moving on to the Alien Force Aliens, which I believe to be the weakest redesigns among the bunch. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Imagine going from this to this and thinking you've improved. Swampfire actually had two designs in Omniverse, but I chose to use the pumpkin update, which surprisingly got a lot of votes. Obviously, the classic version is much better, so point goes to Alien Force. The Omniverse version is too big. The colors are just horrendous with a bright green and a yellow and red design, compared to the slimmer, tree-like look of the Alien Force version. Echo Echo also got the ditto treatment, looking a little more childish, more goofy, and less robotic. I feel like if he's a silicone-based life form, he shouldn't have a beer belly, which Omniverse gave him for some reason. Point goes to the old. Humong Us are also got the Omniverse treatment, giving the green strap, the more defined chin and underbite, the slightly squinted eyes, and the more saturated color scheme. Humong Us are supposed to be scary, not cute. Big Chill is probably the most controversial one among the bunch, because some people actually like the Moth version more, which I completely don't understand. The Ultimate Alien Force version looks amazing, having a slender straight back design, with still the bug eyes, but nothing crazy. In Omniverse, they just make him Hunchback of Notre Moth, looking hairy, fat, hunchback, just horrendous. He looks a little disgusting, like if you saw him in your window, you would want to slash him. Not what I call intimidating, just kind of gross. One goes to the old. The first Alien Force redesign I actually like more is Brainstorm, and while the classic one got much more votes, I have to give it to the Omniverse version here. Obviously Brainstorm's character got a big jump in Omniverse, but even as far as the character design goes, the diamond shaped head with the green streak just looks really cool, and something about his color scheme and eyes being stuck to the top just look a lot better. One goes to the new. Spider Monkey also got the Omniverse treatment yet again, and it's not that terrible to be honest. He now has the green straps going around his back, with a slightly brighter color scheme different eyes, and slick back hair, rather than the simian hair he had in Alien Force. While I do like both designs, Alien Force is still much better. One goes to the old. Now, Chroma Stone might be the worst redesign we've ever seen. Like, what the hell is this grossity? Starting off with the Alien Force version, it looks incredible. I don't know what it is, but the pink and purple color scheme is just so sexy, and the incredibly slim legs and face shape make Chroma Stone one of the most unintentionally cool aliens there are, especially with the rainbow colors as his energy. Omniverse gave him the Swamp Fire treatment, giving him horns all over the place, which just looks terrible. Who thought of this. If he gets thrown into a wall, he'll get stuck pure style. This is not what I want to be looking at. One goes to the old. Goop looks sort of similar, but now he has sort of a pointed chin, and the anti-gravity projector changed slightly. Yeah, I gotta go with the classic one on this one. Looking much cooler, and looking like it's one piece, rather than little globs coming out of him. Alien X might be the most decisive one I've had to go so far, ironically, because I love both character designs pretty equally. While the Alien Force one seems to have gotten slightly more votes here, I also love the Omniverse version. The more pronounced chin, more buff body design, and cooler poses in the show, make Alien Force is just a little bit cooler in my opinion. I mean, we actually get to see him move and such. In Ultimate Alien Force, he was just one pose the entire two series. He doesn't really get a lot of action or movement. This is where Omniverse gets a bit of an advantage, but still looks a lot cooler. Point goes to Omniverse. Wrath's voting was pretty equal, but I think we gotta give it to Omniverse here as well for being slightly better. The more curvy look, with black surrounding his eyes and his face shape being slightly different, looks a lot better in Omniverse and has a cleaner, more slick look. Point goes to New. I've never really liked Nanomech's design at all. I think it's been pretty weak overall. I remember I had this one Nanomech toy as a kid where his his hands were actually spiked, and I wish they implemented that in the show rather than having him have fingers. Ultimately though, I'll probably just give it to Omniverse for having the cooler wings and more shiny body look. Also, the feet look a lot better in Omniverse. Lodestar? No. No! One goes to Alien Force. Moving on to the Andromeda Aliens, or Ultimate Aliens, which I will say are probably the strongest redesigns so far. I love them a lot. <laughs> This includes Water Hazard, whose redesign was actually incredible in my opinion. The ultimate Echo Echo sort of discs on his body look a lot cooler, and his face shape looks a lot better here as well. He has a bit more detail on his body, and he actually looks like he can support water in his suit, unlike the Ultimate Alien version where you wonder where it comes from. Despite not getting as many votes, I'll have to go with Omniverse on this one. I love Amphibian's design. While it still looks good in Omniverse, the Ultimate Alien version just looks a lot better. For one, I really don't like the eyes in Omniverse. They look a lot better in Ultimate Alien with the sharp design, and more green than black. The layers on 
top of each other also look really cool in both versions, but the curve looks a lot better in Ultimate Alien. Plus, there's more blue than white, while Omniverse gets a lot more white in the game. Just minor details like that that make Ultimate Aliens a lot more attractive. Armadillo's design actually got a tie, and for me it was pretty close as well. I'll just go with Ultimate because the face shape and the two little horns on Omniverse don't really look that good in my opinion. For energy! You gotta go with the Omniverse version for looking pretty much the same, but a little bulkier, a little curvier, and a little more saturated. That's all I could ask for. Terra Spin! Also looks a lot better in Omniverse. The face looks slightly better, there's more detail on his arms and legs, and now he actually has toes. Yay for toes! The most horrendous design to ever come out of Ben 10 was definitely Jewelry Rigs from Ultimate Alien. I'm glad most people agree, because Omniverse looks a lot cooler. Maybe it's just because they put clothes on him? I also like the pink skin, the sharp teeth, the eyes, and the goggles on his head. The long nose also fits pretty well. One goes to the new. Clockwork just looks slightly better in Omniverse. Enough said. Eichel's design was never really my favorite in both versions. I think he has a lot of improvement. In Ultimate Alien, he was more robotic with a metallic design, whereas in Omniverse, he's like an actual beetle with a sharp underbite and a rounder look. I also think his laser shooter looks a lot better in Omniverse, so I'll give it to that. Shock Squatch is a no-brainer, so I'll just give it to Omniverse. Grandpa Max's design has been pretty good overall, but the original version is a lot better. I prefer the blue jeans and the construction shoes, and his face just looks the best. In Omniverse, he has the slit eyes, which I was never a fan of, and while I do love Ultimate Alien Force, there's just something about his face that's a little too realistic for my liking. As I discussed in my Vilgax video, Vilgax's design just gets worse and worse over time. One goes to classic, we're looking absolutely incredible. I do love his Alien Force costume the most, especially with the red body and the V on his arm, but it just looks so damn menacing in the classic series. Kevin was pretty unanimous, obviously his UAF design was the best, so one goes to that. I would say the same for Gwen, but more people seem to like Omniverse. I'm just gonna stick to my UAF Gwen. I think if I used the predominantly used design in Omniverse with the glasses, lots of people would have probably voted for it. Point goes to the middle. And lastly, we have Ben, whose design has been absolutely incredibly consistent throughout the shows. I'm with most people in saying that his green jacket, blue pants, and anime sort of face looks the best overall, but I absolutely love all designs, including his white and black shirt and cargo pants, and the Omniverse redesigned face with the green and white shirt and the hoodie. All of it incredible, but I just love the jacket the most, to be honest. So that's that. Overall, here's the stats for each show and how most people voted and how I voted. And you can see the trends in most shows as far as how I like it and how other people like it. The reason for the 0.5 is because I gave a half point to the aliens with Tyvos, so just ditto. So that's why the Discord voting had that in there. What do you think? And that's about it with the Omniverse redesigns. Ultimately, it seems that the redesigns did a lot more good than bad, especially as it relates to Ultimate Alien redesigns and some of the classics. But much more importantly than all this, what do you think? Which redesigns do you personally find more attractive and why? Let me know that in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe and share the video to support me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful ladies and jellyfish next time. Shalom everybody.